Hi, my name's Alistair Gill, and you're listening to the Preston Journal Sportscast. Uh, with me again this week, Jamie Bullen, uh, John Lord, and uh, Tom Jordan. So this week, uh, Preston, we've got two games to talk about this week, because obviously Preston won at the weekend, uh, beating Forest 3-2, and they drew uh, with Sheffield Wednesday on Tuesday night. Um, but they've seen to it. They, they threw away a lead against Sheffield Wednesday. They were two 0 up, and uh, it's dropped to two two. And the, against Forest, they were three 0 up, and nearly let that slip. Have they got? Have they got a problem with uh, with holding on to leads? Do they struggle? Are they not strong enough mentally? It seems to be the same uh, story going back to earlier on in the season, um, and it's the defence which is the real concern for Peony this season. Um, like you say, the. They were able to get. They're all right going forward, and there's not. There don't seem to be a problem scoring goals. It just seems to be um, shutting the back door when they actually find themselves in the lead. Um, that they seem to have a, a serious problem in doing. Um, it's all right scoring three goals, but if the fans aren't going to be happy in the second half if you're coming out and uh, conceding two and you know making it real edge of seats stuff for the last 20 minutes of the games. I think it comes down to concentration and consistency. They have, they've had no consistency throughout the season. They can't string two or three wins together, which is why they're in mid-table and why they're seven points off the playoffs and realistically aren't going to be able to get up there. And it's this concentration thing. They go 2-0 up and within three minutes they peg back to 2-2. Two, two. It's, it's definitely about um, concentration levels and I think certainly Ferguson said after the game he was very upset with, with how they threw it away. Do you, do you think that's the issue then, Jamie, for them at the moment? Is it, is it concentration that they struggle for? Um, well, I think, to be honest, at this end of the season, I think the form book sort of goes out the window. A lot of, a lot of strange results um, will be sort of cropping up in the next couple of weeks of the Championship. With, with Forest, um, you know, fantastic win, great win. And I know that, that they, they, uh, they nearly let it slip, but they scored three goals. They took them apart in the first half. Um, but no, no one was no one was sort of expecting. That. Even though Forest have been a bit patchy away from them, no one was really expecting that. And Sheffield Wednesday, you know, Sheffield Wednesday a struggling team. Preston go two 0 up, and then they um, let two goals go in. So I think you know we're going to see some very strange results. And I think it, it, one of the factors is that because it is the end of the season, and teams, some teams are going to have a lot to play for, and some don't. Obviously, a major factor uh, on Tuesday night was the return of Alan Irvine with uh, with Chef Wednesday. Um, do you think uh, you know he matched Darren Ferguson there? Did he show? Did he show the board that maybe they were wrong to sack him? Well, I still think the, the dismissal of Alan Irving was very, very strange. Um, he was he was working really well there. He set up a good platform, and you know it just comes down to football now as a results business. If you don't provide results consistently, you're going to be in trouble. And Irving, to be fair, didn't really have a sticky patch because I thought well, he's while he was in a sort of his ticket actually went and I don't think he had the chance to rectify it and I actually I hope he does a really good job at Sheffield Wednesday because I think he's a fantastic manager You only have to look at his record when he was at Preston the first season he arrived he kept them up when they looked like a struggle inside the second season he gets them to the playoffs and yet halfway through um, the following season he's, he's sacked when they're in the mid-table um, I think Irvine probably did um, outdo Ferguson on Tuesday I think Irvine is probably one of the most tactically astute managers in the division um, and the way he organises uh, the Sheffield Wednesday side is, um, is actually quite impressive and I would expect Wednesday to probably survive and, uh, and stay up um, so I do think he probably had the upper hand over um, his younger protege, Ferguson The wrong decision to get rid of Irvine then, Tom? Uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah um, He did a fantastic job at uh, Preston um, The first couple of seasons were there obviously things go your way and uh, as Jamie said, it's a results business if you don't win games Ultimately, you're going to find yourself out of a job. Um, I think it was harsh on Irvine, but um, it's a results business. Well, one one thing he couldn't do would be bringing in uh, many uh, Man United loanies from his dad, because his dad isn't Alex Ferguson. Uh, uh, Darren's brought in uh, brought in Welbeck, obviously, who's who's now back because he's uh, injured. But uh, everyone was excited about him, and Matt James sort of slipped under the radar. But he's he's grabbing all the headlines now. I mean. Is he, who, who is he, John? Where's he come from? What sort of has he well, made this sort of impact? Um, well, I think it's, it's more to do with sort of his, his energy levels, his enthusiasm to get on the ball. It's, it's his first real taste of football league action, so you can imagine he's very keen. He wants to run around and, and get involved, and I think that's he's provided a, a spark to uh, Preston's midfield, which had really been lacking before that. So yeah, he's done very well. I know Alex Ferguson spoke very highly of James, um, as he has of, of Welbeck as well. Um, James seems to be a fantastic passer of the ball, and uh, as we saw last week, he's got a, he's got an eye for goal and 
a real shot on him when he uh, when he wants to let it go, as we saw against Forest with that that great goal. I think I think we've seen early into Ferguson's reign how useful um, the connection with Manchester United is going to be. He's already had Welbeck and he's had James. You know, if, and if Sir Alex keeps supplying these youngsters, then Preston really could um, can press on in the Championship. Um, is is Welbeck someone you see staying at Preston like next season, or is he someone who can break? Can he break into the Man United team one day, or is he is he not of that level? I would be fully. Uh, I would be very. I wouldn't be surprised if Welbeck returned for a season long loan next year. I think. Um, you know, his chances are going to be very limited at Manchester United. And Alex Ferguson could always go out and buy a striker in the summer, and that would always push Welbeck back. But I do think he likes him. I think he has come on. He has shown it when he's come on. He scored for Man United, and I think you know. But give him a season at Preston. Give him a season in the Championship. Some big physical defenders. Make him learn a little bit more about the game, and he could be, uh, you know, he could be a real asset for for uh, for Preston. And when he comes back for Manchester United as well. Mark James as well, John. Do you think he's is he Championship level or is he? Is he higher than that? Is he Premiership standard? Is he future international standard? I mean, he's only 18, isn't he? Yeah, it's difficult to say. I mean, he's obviously very inexperienced, but I think um, in, in loan spells in the Championship and throughout the Football League, a player can learn so much. It's so different to playing reserve team football. So um, he's, he's shown very, uh, very positive signs so far. So, yeah, perhaps he, he could play at a high level one day. Some of the players coming outside of the, um, out of the Premiership from the bigger clubs um, have obviously very good technically, uh, especially if they come from the academy. For example, at Manchester United, um, they have a fantastic academy. It's technical, but coming into the Championship is a completely different ball game in that you've got to be physical, you've got to be able to tackle. And that if he if he comes out of a decent loan spell in the Championship, I'm sure it'll uh, it'll help his Premiership career. Um, that's all for this week. Uh, join us again next time when we'll be discussing the result of West Brom PNE.